Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Freshy bringing you a tutorial today on how to make a team logo or emblem or avatar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to start off, we have made a new file and we've changed the width to 3000 pixels, the height to 16,000 pixels, or 1600 pixels and 3000 pixels. And the resolution is 300 uh, pixels per inch, which is DPI. I'm going to change this to red, green, blue. Background is going to be transparent. Click OK. I only work with like really two colors. And the first thing I do is I grab um, gray, like any, any normal gray. I like the darker kind of gray because it's, it's not as bright as the white. And we're going to keep it like about there. And we're going to just click make it so the background is gray and then uh, we're gonna switch over um, right now I'm gonna make a new logo for Psycho Asfi's team uh, that he is starting and we're gonna start off with like a, a circle we're gonna go kind of like a Darth looking emblem it's ca it's called Oracle so I think I have a, a kind of idea but we're gonna start off with a uh, a black circle but actually no we're not we're going to grab the little moving tool and it will pop up with these little things where you can adjust and stuff and uh, press control Z to get those back and uh, we're going to take our rulers on the side and we're going to move them to exact center so right there that way I know where it is and then we're going to click enter make a new layer grab uh, the ellipse tool which is what I'm going to use to make a circle and if you're on Mac I have no idea what the buttons are but on PC you hold alt and shift after clicking and it makes it so it makes it a perfect side instead of if you're not holding any buttons it makes it do that if you're holding shift it makes it go like that if you're holding control it doesn't do anything it just like free moving but if you hold alt you can make it so it's centered there and if you hold shift it makes it just get larger bigger exactly maybe one second I'm gonna take a drink real quick because my throat's getting dry sponsored by Sprite ladies and gentlemen yes Sprite so we've made a circle here um, and then we're gonna take and flip the tool and make sure it's the same color as the background and we're gonna just make another circle but it didn't change so we're gonna go over here when it's like that just click that there we go make a new layer maybe make these smaller so we're just gonna highlight all of them click on this just drag in a little bit and then we're gonna make a new layer and click enter grab a I think I'm gonna change it to an ellipse tool or not an ellipse tool, a rectangle tool grab it from the center here or actually we're going to take another ruler drag it out about quarter way up from the bottom of the circle and AF proxy rev leader 1k that's bonjour fresh I don't know how to speak French though and we're going to hold uh, if I can get it right and click right on the center right there hold alt and take out a chunk of the circle. There we go. Make a new layer. See now it looks like that. And uh, I'm gonna make the spikes. Instead of going inward or outward how uh, Darth does it, I'm gonna do it inward from right here. We're gonna go to the lowest point. What I'm zo uh, how I'm zooming in like this is I'm just holding Control and Alt at the same time. It helps you zoom in. We're going to select that point. We're going to connect it to just a tad off right here. Connect it back to right about here, anywhere on there. We're going to change the color to black. And then connect them. And right now I'm using the pen tool. And I have it on the first setting up here. Um, if you can see where my mouse is, I don't think you can because the way I have it set up. Let's see if I can change that mid options record courser. I think it'll pop up now. I hope so. If it doesn't, oh well. And then uh, we're just gonna make a duplicate of that layer by pressing Control J, 
and uh, grab the move tool move the little center piece right here over to right about there actually we're gonna move it dead center on that line so it when we click the right the button that we're gonna use in a second it'll flip it over perfectly off that so we're gonna click edit transform flip horizontally and it perfectly moved it right over we're gonna click apply so now we have this this shape right here I don't really know what I'm going for yet we're gonna go up here and clear the guides and go back down select this one and recenter our guides because I didn't feel like deleting them all there we go now we have this shape which is kinda cool looking shape I don't know really what I'm gonna go for now I think I might add some spikes on the side easy way to do that is just make a new layer right above your background and click here go to your polygon tool or if you hold it down click go polygon tool and you can select how many uh, sides you have by this little number up here and you're gonna I'm gonna go with let's go with seven and right on the midpoint where we made our thing earlier let's do this and just drag out and make sure it's kinda centered there's no real perfect way to get it we're gonna do that there we go and that's where we got so far we got that and uh, I don't know let's let's, uh, let's get a little creative now and take the uh, ellipse tool again and let's make another ruler about halfway through the black line up there and let's make a uh, a gray one that matches the background and we're gonna make it right about there and then right above that we're gonna switch back to black and we're gonna do the same thing just about that like that click on the background see what that looks like it looks pretty cool um, I don't know we should uh, we should probably add there's a lot of negative space here but I kinda like that because then you can be more creative with your graphics and stuff um, do I want to add the circle on all of the points? That would be interesting looking, I think. Um, let's do that. Let's add the circle on all the points, or the, at least these three. I think we're going to do it on those three. So, um, let's go back up. Click on these two. We're just going to throw those two into a folder. And then we're going to move that folder onto the new layer spot. And what that does is it creates a duplicate of the layer. You can't just click Control J on those. And you're just going to move it right on down to right about there see how that is well, I, I kinda like that we're gonna make another duplicate of that layer and move that right on over to here let's see if that's that about center looks about right and I like that it's a pretty cool looking logo I think um, anything else we can really do with it I think we might get rid of these points down here uh, I'm not sure sorry about the clicking on the mic I'm hitting it with my hand hmm it looks pretty good I think that's what we're gonna call it. that's the the Oracle logo I think I, I'm feeling it maybe we should add a, uh, a slightly larger circle in the center make it like that and then just drag it out like so put it underneath all of this so right there right there hmm maybe not maybe right there eh, I don't know how I feel about it hmm hmm we're gonna have to do something huh I don't know how I feel about that. Let's uh, let's not do that. Let's get rid of that. Let's come up with something though. I think he wanted the text in the center, which is fine with me. He said have free reign with it, and I personally think that's best as it looks. Let's highlight the background. That's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, that is a uh, pretty interesting logo. It's not ripping anyone off. It's not saying hey, we're the same as you. Um, could be dip more different per se um, let's see what else we can throw on it 
I don't want to overdo it. Maybe we'll uh, go up right above the uh, the points and we'll um, make them skinny or something, or make them like have like the hook shape. Let's just adjust the color. Click on the point up here, and with the pen tool, we're going to click and drag like so. Maybe I think I want black to do this. We're just gonna do that, and we're gonna change to black. It looks like that, and then we're gonna select the background. Looks uh, pretty interesting. I I don't hate it, but uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Let's go uh, Control J on it. Let's see what it looks like on the back other side. Let's uh, bring up the ruler again, so I have something to flip it over. So let's flip that and uh, click on this one bring that to right about there move this point to that spot and file or edit flip horizontally and it matches right over click apply there we go it's a uh, pretty interesting um hmm do I want to go with that? I think I do that's uh that's pretty good and uh that's, uh, that's how you make a basic uh, emblem. If you want to learn how to do the AI file part of it, stick around and we'll, uh, we'll keep doing that. Um, I think I might make a separate little video and upload that later today or something with this one. And then you get two tutorials in one. You'll be happy. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. We're going we're gonna to do the AI file right now. So either there's two ways you can do it let's uh filter where is it view clear guides um, there's two ways you can do this you can either select it or what you do is put these all into a file if I can I don't know why I can't oh because I grabbed a vector throw those all into a file together and make a copy of that file you have to throw the background in with it too, or it's not going to work. So you got all of it into a file. Make a new file. Merge the file. And there's a simple way to do this, or there's a hard way. The hard way is you take the pen tool and you go all the way around the outside of all of this. And select all your points, everything that you want to do. Or you can do it my way, which isn't always the best way because it does make some rough edges sometimes and all you gotta do is do this you got to select the black if I can I don't know why it's not letting me let's turn this down to zero Enter and select there we go take it off of continuous that way it's selecting all of it like this and the way you get to go all into a AI file is you right click with the magic wand tool and you click make work path I like 1.8 you can go up to 2 1 makes it a little bit more rigid 2 makes it a little bit more like fluid around it and it like bends and turns and everything I like 1.8 because it still sticks with the hard edges yet it still has the fluid curves so so that see you'll have a little bit of mess ups like right here and what I do is I just click with the pen tool and holding down control you click on the path and just turn them over sometimes you'll have a little extra points like this they're not that bad you just move them you get some like that um, the only reason I did it this way is because I have circles in it and circles are a pain in the ass and I don't know why I throw this many points into a little curve area so let's just click on this one bend it a little bit fix it a little bit there we go you can delete them sometimes that causes problems though so I'm not deleting any um, let's check all our points make sure all our points are okay and not like jacked up and weird looking curves okay on this one yeah let's just bend it a little bit more uh, circle needs to be fixed right here so let's just adjust that there we go. Other than that, the circle looks pretty good. Let's just adjust this one a little bit more. There we go. 
There we go. Just pull that out. There we go. Okay, let's zoom out. See if we got any other edges that are a little lopsided and not too pretty. Let's zoom in on this one. This one's looking a little funky. Okay, move that one over a little bit right there. Put this down. There we go. Got that one. Let's fix this one. This one looks funny as hell. There we go. Let's just pull that back over. Adjust the main point right there. Pull it inward. Pull that back. There we go. Um, let's fix this point so it's not all lopsided and stuff. Pull that in. There we go. Um, this point is going to bug me right here. Because it shouldn't be bending out that far. And this point should come outward a bit. There we go. And this one should come inward a bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's zoom out. See what else we got going on. These these are fine. Um, they might be on a little bit on the inside, but that's okay. Um, let's go with that. Okay, that those points are good. Let's scroll upward. Uh, these ones are fine. Oh, see, this is why you check all your points because you get some that look like that. We'll just bend that that way. Um, and scroll up. Everything else looks pretty good. Let's uh, check this one real quick though, because this one's looking a little dopey. There we go. It's supposed to be more of a crisp edge. Oh, there we go. And then when you got all that finished, you right click on the middle of the space with holding down control so you don't have any points selected and you click file go down to export and paths to illustrator and what that does is you it brings up a work path you click OK and you name it what you're gonna name it so this is the Oracle uh, I think I spelled that wrong Oracle yeah uh, AI file so there you go and it's an Adobe Illustrator file and you click OK and I have a whole file filled with all my uh, clans that I've done and made and everything and that way and now you can throw that into um, Cinema 4D or Adobe Illustrator make t-shirts and stuff and there you go well ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial you have a great day and uh, yeah love y'all